In this video, we go over an important change coming to AVD you need to know about. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and welcome to my channel. It's easy to overlook host pool redirections in AVD. If you do nothing, most items just work. Users can copy and paste and printers are redirected by default. But that behavior is going to change. In this video, we look at how and why it's changing. Before that, you know the drill. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop, Hybrid Identities with Windows AD and Enter ID, Windows 365 with Intune Management, and my newest course, A Beginner's Guide to the AZ900. Links are below. And thank you, channel members. Your support is appreciated. Here's what you need to know. Host pool device redirections, including clipboard, drive, USB, and printer redirections will soon be disabled by default on all new host pools. This means when the change takes effect, any new host pool will not allow these redirections by default. Administrators must enable these features on new host pools to gain that functionality. Existing host pools will not be changed. No need to worry about this change disrupting existing pools. The change is significant because these redirections are frequently used with AVD. Many administrators may be used to the redirections just working. This is part of the Microsoft Secure Future Initiative, a way to make services secure by default. Personally, I'm happy for this change. I've seen AVD deployments that leave the default settings, and the admins are surprised to find out that the C drive on the client computer is mapped to the remote session where data can be passed back and forth. I always point out the need to review redirection settings and verify they're correct for the environment when at events or training. Default values for redirections are not consistent. The default value could be enabled or disabled. Let's take a deeper look at the settings that are changing. The redirection settings are located in the host pool under Settings, RDP Properties. This host pool has the current default settings. Clipboard redirection is on by default. Once the change is made, the clipboard redirection will not be enabled by default. If we open the information bubble, we can see, well, more information. There's also a link to a document with details. If we open that and go to device redirection, we can see the redirected clipboard option. The default or not configured value is currently one. Clipboard redirection is enabled. This setting will change to zero, disabled in the near future. By the way, there's another option to limit clipboard transfer by direction and data type. This is set at the OS level, not in redirections. I did a video on that when it was in preview. I'll add a link to that and updated documents below. Let's take a look at the USB redirections in the host pool. All USB devices are enabled by default. Let's go back to the dock. Here are the options for USB redirection. We can see all USB devices, the default, USB devices by class good, or by instance ID. We have the option to only allow devices we specify. By the way, all these settings also have a link to an article with even more information. Let's take a look at drive redirection options next. The default is all drives. That includes drives connected after the session started. Only drives that are connected later, specify drives by label type or not configured. If we go to the dock, this gives us more information on what's redirected. The default is all drives. That includes USB drives. USB drives are included with drive redirection, not USB redirection. And finally, we have printer redirection. Here again, all printers on the local computer are redirected by default. That may not be an issue for some, but for others, this could cause concerns related to data exfiltration. We can see more information in the RDP properties document. That's what's coming with device redirection. The exact date has not been announced yet, but it's coming soon, so be ready for the change. I hope you found this useful. If so, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching.